everyone, and welcome to our senior design presentation. We are Team 13, and our project name is Carry, short for Apothecary, and it is a personal medical device that can keep track of your medications, vitamins, etc., and dispense them to you in a safe and streamlined fashion. Let's take a look. So when you first use the device, you're gonna have to register yourself as a user to be able to use it. As you can see here on the main screen, there's an update users button, which lets you do that. And it'll take you to this second sub menu, which on the left shows you the current list of users. And on the right has these three buttons to add a user, remove a user, or to go back to the main um, menu. But for now, let's just add a new user. What you have to do is add, click add a new user. And in this sub menu, all you have to do is um, select your first three initials using these buttons like so. And then you can select one of either two roles, um, either caregiver, which a caregiver has full access to all the functionalities in the system, including um, refilling the medication chambers, or you can be a user, which um, only gives you access to uh, the dispensing function. Um, but for now, let's just stick with caregiver. So once you click save, the system will prompt you to scan your fingerprint uh, using the fingerprint scanner. And as you can see, the LED light around the fingerprint scanner turns blue, which means that it's ready to scan. You'll see that once it's done, the light turns green. And then the system will prompt you to scan an RFID tag, um, which you can use one like these, but because our system also uses RFID as another method of authentication other than the fingerprint. So for this, all you have to do is present your RFID tag um, in front of the sensor right here. And now the user is in the list. So in order for the device to be able to know when to give you the adequate medications that you need, um, it has to know your medication regimen. You can add that uh, from the main screen right here by going into the change schedule menu. And you will see that on the left, it will show you the current regimen that you have, which in this case, right now it is empty. And on the right, uh, right side of the screen, you will have the three options similar to other menus that you will see, such as add medication, remove medication, or go back to the main menu. But for now, let's add a new medication schedule. So all you have to do is select the medication number that corresponds to the chamber in which you place your medication. In this case, let's select two. And then here you select the range of times from when you are able to take this medication according to your prescription. So for example, let's say that you have to take a morning pill, which you should take between the hours of 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. So all you have to do is click save. And now it'll show you uh, the current list of medications that you have, including the chamber number it corresponds to, as well as the range. Important to note that sometimes people have to take uh, a medication more than once a day, so you can go back to this add medication schedule menu, you can select the same chamber that you selected before, and then select the second range for the medication. Let's say for this one it's from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. So once you click save, you will see that um, now the uh, current list of medications shows that for medication number two, you have a range from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. So as you can see, these right here are the chambers where you will refill your pres prescription medication. So naturally, there will come a time where you will need to refill them. Um, and that is very simple. You can go to the main screen right here. And as you can see, there's a refill button. Once you hit that, it will display a message that says that the device has unlocked. Um, as, and as you can see, whereas before I can access these chambers, now it's fully open and I can refill my prescriptions like so. And then once I'm done, I just hit the done button and the device returns to its locked state. So I have a medication that I have to take from 3.30 to 4.30 in the afternoon. And as you can see, the device is prompting me to scan my fingerprint so that I can obtain it. So let's do that now. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner has a green light around it, but once I click OK, it'll turn blue to indicate that my fing the fingerprint scanner is ready to scan. I place my thumb on it. And when the fingerprint scanner is done scanning, you'll see that the line turns green. So as you can see, the device has now dispensed my medication, and now all I have to do is open this drawer, and here's my pill. So another thing you can do um, is remove medication from your, from your regimen if you are no longer taking that prescription. From the main menu, you can go into the change schedule sub menu and you will see on the left the current uh, medications that you are taking. And all you have to do is go into the rem remove a medication sub menu, um, which will present this button. And here you select the number that corresponds to the chamber in which your prescription is in. So in this case, this is the only one we have, which is right there. So let's just delete that one. And once you hit done, you will see that in the in the previous menu, there are no medications because we just deleted it. 
Another thing you can do is remove a user from the list of users stored within the system so that uh, they no longer have access to any parts of the system. So to do that, go into the first menu um, and click the Update Users button. And from here, click Remove a User. And as you can see, you have a list of users that is numbered. All you have to do is select the number of the user that you want to delete. In this case, let's delete number two. Hit the Delete button and hit Done. And now, as you can see, that user is no, is no longer in the list, their fingerprint has been deleted, and their RFID tag has been wiped.